Oh. T today is the is Thursday, the thirteenth of June, two thousand and thirteen, and the time is five eighty three. No, thirty eight. P eighty three. <laughs> Five eight thirty eight p.m. And this video is maybe you could call it a milestone video or update video or whatever you wish to call it because tomorrow after moving out tomorrow after about ten months I'm moving out of here because my lease ends. And not, I'll not be moving anywhere myself. Personally, it's sort of a family <coughs> arrangement thing. I'm staying with, if you could call them loosely, family. And yeah, that's a temporary arrangement just now. And but I'll go into that more depth in a minute. I'll try not to make this a long video, but it may well end up like that because most of my videos do that anyway because I just go and throw it on and on and on. Yeah, and also I need to think about what I'm saying as well. And sometimes the, the, when you add all the five seconds and stuff up that it takes for me to think what I'm saying, that builds up into maybe a minute. And then there's a minute gone. Uh, yeah, so I'll start. From the beginning, 15th of September 2012, I moved, that was Saturday by the way, and very sunny, even bright and warm Saturday it was too. I moved in here and I felt apprehension, nerves, <coughs> homesickness, worry. The things you usually feel when you're first away from pair, loving your parents, or well, first time away from home. Gradually, as the weeks weeks pass and then the months turned into months and what have you, I got comfortable here. And yeah, I would say overall I've enjoyed my time here. There's been many highs, many lows, but then any stage of your life you're going to have highs and lows. Even like a simple thing, even every day you have highs and lows. Maybe you could class a high as getting to cross the road and there's no cars and you can go right across without having to wait. Maybe you can class that as high and a low as maybe, I don't know, maybe looking a bit stupid tripping up in the street. <coughs> Who knows? <coughs> but there's been highs and lows, relationships, involvement with police. I'll not go into too much detail on there, but I'm sure if you follow me on Facebook, if you've got me added on Facebook or whatever, I'm sure you'll, you'll know the basic gist of what I'm on about. But yeah, well, I'm here. That's somebody on Facebook there, so. Yeah. I will miss this place. A lot of you, the avid viewers of my vlogs, would be expect me to tell you that in a month or two or so I'm going to Japan and I'm not if we start going wow yay I'm not I've changed my plans I'll tell you what I've changed them to and why I've changed them now <laughs> uh, I had originally planned to go to Japan in July after graduation Mainly because the TEFL website told that was the last time that flights for that particular school year go to Japan. In July was the last flights, June was the last time to uh, basically get yourself booked on a thing, but <coughs> I have no idea if I've passed yet yeah, because I've no results or anything yet, even though I've registered for graduation, so I guess I just need to wait. And another factor is money. I've no money as of now, and there's no point in going to Japan when you've no money because you'll not enjoy it as much 
So I figured what would be better to do would be to stay here up in Aberdeen because I quite like up here actually, it's a nice city. And <coughs> quite a few nice people going but didn't give you any bother and and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for a job here, something full time maybe, part time or just anything that pays really I suppose and that pays a decent amount and then I'm going to save up all I can possible and then <coughs> perhaps go over to the Philippines at some point and see girlfriend and fam and their family and friends and all that kind of thing and the main goal at the end of all this is to save up and then come March 2014 it'll be then get to Japan then and there is reasons why I've delayed it <coughs> reason one is the money factor I've no money just now sure family could help me get a plane ticket if they wanted to but then what do I do when I'm over there they're, com they're hardly going to help us when I'm there as well are they uh, so it pointless to me going just now with no money and if I'd left it until March and found a job eventually and worked hard and saved up then not only can I buy my own ticket I could I'd actually have a little bit of money to spend until I started earning a wage which makes a lot more sense <coughs> because you wouldn't get your wage as soon as you land in Japan obviously unfortunately life isn't as kind as that Second reason, number two, the school year in Japan starts in April, much like the football season I feel, which is quite funny because here the school year starts in August, September around the same time as the football season here, so they tend to match kind of, <coughs> but yeah in Japan it starts in April so if I go in March then that way I get the whole year as an English teacher or assistant, language teacher, or whatever you want to call it. Seems I've got my TEFL certificate. And yeah, I feel it's better to go in from the start than to jump into a class halfway through. And by then, you're familiar with them by the end of the year, but then that year's done. It's better to get in there at, right at the start, introduce yourself from the start, and start as you mean to go on, rather than jumping in like some idiot that's taking it as a laugh. I'd rather go in and do the whole thing seriously. <coughs> and yeah, it does mean having to wait a little bit longer for Japan, but I feel a little bit of money behind me. I'll probably enjoy it a hell of a lot more than I would. Being as the Scottish say, pride. <coughs> but yeah. I'm looking for work just now. Applying to many jobs and it's that kind of thing. It's your general job seeker. Taking accommodation with loose family that live up here until I find another room of my own. I have to be room sharing, I'm afraid, for me. But I can do it. Hmm. Maybe be better with the company, or maybe not, who knows. But yeah, that's my plan. And tomorrow, tonight is my last full night here. And tomorrow I tidy everything away. Boxes and whatnot, decide what I'm taking with me and what I'm not. And then heading off leaving this place behind. I've got videos there of, on my, from my phone of here so I'll maybe stick some of them up on my YouTube channel as well so you can see where, um, where I was living. Maybe some kind of memorial type thing. Yeah. Ten months of highs and lows. Done. 
come here, nervous, homesick, worried, grow as a person, as well as gaining qualifications, I think that's a bad way to go. I kind of wish that <coughs> oh, some of my scent. I kind of wish that I'd maybe gone and took a proper flat to start with and then we would need to move out. I don't want to really move out here, I would have preferred to stay here but 120 quid a week is damn ridiculous when you're sharing it with people as well. I mean if you're paying that kind of money and you get a bit of peace and quiet in place of your own that's not too bad but when you're sharing with other folk it's ridiculous. Yeah, there's the 11 minute march, I'm gonna kill off this video now, sign off, hopefully you all have a good summer until I see you next, whenever that might be, who knows, but yeah, 10 months done, 10 months done. And then we move on to the second stage, if you wish to call it that. So, until next time I see you, remember, take care and Johnny.